and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means. It's time for all the toy news, action figure news of the week that interested me. That hopefully interests you in a big week of varied action figure news this week with a lot of different toy lines to talk about. So let's dive into it. Let's get into it. But first, of course, a little housekeeping Patreon giveaway for the month of February. February coming to a close really quick. It's one of them short months, but I think leap year is this year. Oh, leap year birthday. Shout out to all those leap year birthdays this year. Have to do the Patreon Q&A, of course, the exclusive over there every month. We will be doing that here in the next week or so. I got some travel. We'll do it from a fine Hampton Inn somewhere on the road, so stay tuned for that. But we do have the giveaway for the month of February. It is Batman the Animated Series, McFarlane Toys, Batmobile, Batman, and of course, Robin. So if you went on, want in on that, head on down to the link in the description below. Check out the Patreon. All kinds of videos over on the Patreon. Monthly Q&A, as I did say, pizza reviews, dog stuff, early access to both YouTube channels. Make sure you subscribe to both YouTube channels. Of course, a lot going on on the Patreon every single day. And I keep the fire alive. The old Jack's Class Superstars book getting closer and closer to coming out. There it is, of course. Wrote this whole book. Oh, my gosh. Hours and hours of labor on this one. A labor of love, as they do say. But we should have this for sale here in the next couple of weeks. But got to keep talking about it. Keep it top of mind. Uh, there's a lot to go here. Like a phone book is what it is like. But very excited to get this out to all of you guys and gals, especially the gals out there. But much more soon on this. Classic superstars. A labor of love. Love, no doubt about it. Stay tuned for the book. There you go. But let's dive into the toy news this week and a lot going on, like I did say. In all transparency here, I am filming this Thursday evening as I have a jam-packed day full of meetings on Friday. Usually I do film uh, the toy news and weekly purchases late Friday afternoon. This week I have meetings all the way up to like 6 o'clock at night. Then of course my wife and kids will probably want to go out to eat. And before you know it, time gets away from you. But what is time? And if you don't know what it is, how does it get away from you? Deep thoughts here at the table today, but I am filming this Thursday, so any action figure news that happens on Friday, we'll have to talk about it next week. That's the way it's going to go right there. But let's dive in here. Let's start off with the news, and let's start off hot with CM Punk. It's the winner of Punk, of course. Leaves AEW, comes to WWE, gets injured, has a heels and faces figure from last week. Well, this week, AEW and the Jazz Wars team, they're not done with Punk. They're not done. I did put it in the recap of AEW Unmatched Series 8. Check out that review on the channel. I recapped that entire line. And I didn't say, hey, last time in the line, CM Punk, Ring of Honor. Well, remember, I filmed them ahead for Patreon. So Patreon had that thing for a few days before it went to traditional YouTube. But hey, here we are, another CM Punk. And it is on a site called Collect Forever. Never heard of this in my entire life. $50 for a 1 of 1,000 figure here, and it really is a CM Punk mashup at the end of the day. It's bringing a couple of different CM Punk figures together, and bam, getting the most out of your mold, you got a new figure. But it does come in a case. It is limited edition. It is CM Punk, a tippy-top name, as we do know. So it'll be interesting to see the markup on this one in the future. Have to imagine it is flying under the radar outside of sites like me and hardcore wrestling fan action figure collectors. Not a lot of people are going to know about this website. We know about Shop AEW with those exclusives. There's common fans that go there. There's people that go to that site on a fairly regular basis. Something like this, Collect Forever, I've never even heard of it. So it'll be interesting to see how well this sells, when it sells out, and what the aftermarket will look like on this one when it does ship apparently in April, so right around the corner here. But I think it's going to be one of those sleeper ones that flies under the radar, especially six, eight months down the line. Could be a pretty penny, so you got to vote with your wallet at the end of the day. But we're not done CM Punk. We talked last week about the heels and faces CM Punk. Pre-order ends on February 23rd, so you got about another week to get that pre-order in. Get after it if you're after that thing. Of course, Larry, oh my gosh, everybody needs a figure of a dog, don't we? 
So we do got that going on. So if you want CM Punk, we got two of them up for pre-order as I'm filming this. Uh, subject to availability, as uh, they may say somewhere. And we're not done with wrestling this week. After over a two-year wait, the Sabu Uncensored figure, we did unbox that on this very YouTube channel. I could not wait to unbox that. As all honesty, Sabu, ECW, you're in my wheelhouse. That's what I absolutely loved in my teen years. I was a big, big fan. Still am a big fan of ECW. Very excited to get the Sabu figure. Now, of course, it was originally a Cella Toys figure. It later transitioned over to Epic Toys. Epic Toys kind of left holding the bag here. And by the results of things, a lot of broken figures. So many broken figures. In fact, they've stopped production, stopped uh, all the cases, said, hey, we're not sending any of these out. After Chinese New Year is over, they're going to remake those figures. So you got to give it up to Epic Toys for stepping in and fixing the problem. But at the end of the day, they have their name on it. It is technically their fault. It's no longer Chella Toys' fault. They could have said, hey, this is a Chella Toy thing. We're refunding all your money. We're moving on from the Sabu project. They saw it through. They put their stamp on it, and they're doing the right thing on the back end there. For me, in my review, it did not break. So check out the review if you want to. Got to say, though, the Sabu figure, a lot to be desired on that wear. On that, it is cool to get a Sabu figure. I'm very happy to get a Sabu figure. It just leaves a little bit to be desired. I mean, it looks like he's transitioning into a werewolf, as I did say. Check out the review, like I did say, as well. We'll see if the Uncensored line continues from Epic Toys. I'm not going to hold my breath. I have a feeling they might stick to retros, but they could surprise me. They could surprise me, so there you go. But we're not done with retros. The retro war heating up, of course, Super Bowl Sunday. Well, top of the mind was not the big game, not the Super Bowl game. It was all about Aldo Montoya. Old Just Incredible coming in hot with grapplers and gimmicks. Of course, Hastel Toys uh, announcing a retro with uh, Just Incredible himself, or uh, as I should say, Aldo Montoya, the Portuguese man of war himself with the craft singles all over his face. A funny video there for sure, but he is coming to grapplers and gimmicks in retro form. And then not to be outdone, the Super Bowl wasn't the only big game. Zombie Sailor, of course, did post, we have Aldo Montoya too. He's coming to the heels and faces line. So how many Aldo Montoyas do you need? I don't know. A controversial character, if there ever was one in the you know, Twitter X space, of course. Sounds like taking money from people and not giving the goods. So there's a little bit of controversy with him. But dare I say, maybe even a little bit of conspiracy. I wonder if they're watching your every move. Cell phones, internet, surveillance. Think about it. Post What's that? Oh, I got a second confirmation on that from Todd McFarlane on the couch and Jesse Ventura. No conspiracy with Aldo Montoya. Just controversy. No conspiracy, just controversy. You heard it here from the couch. Thanks, Todd. We'll talk about you later. Of course. Of course we will. Wiggling his toes over there. Toe wiggler. All day long, McFarlane. Are you kidding me? Gotta love him. Uh, but we do got him coming in two different directions. So if you're a Just Incredible fan, man, it's a renaissance time. A renaissance time for you. But we weren't done. Zombie Sailor also announced Bob Sparkplug Holly. Get motor oh my gosh. Fire up your engines, boys. We got Bob Sparky Plug coming to the Retro Heels and Faces line. And not to be outdone, Rush Collectibles still uh, poking the flames, poking the fires. It's going to be interesting to see how it works out for them. But Wildcat Chris Harris, Cowboy James Storm, they did show the carded figures of those. It'll be interesting to see who dives in on round two of Rush Collectibles. Uh, a tough go for that company for sure. A lot of it brought on themselves, as we do know. It'll be interesting to see where it all shakes out with these two here. I guess we'll stay tuned for all that as well. But not to be outdone in the throwback wrestling arena, uh, Big Rubber Guys over there of Major Pod Group, of course, Major Bendy's group, they did announce on Super Bowl Sunday in a post, no pictures, anything like that, but it sounds like the powers of pain are coming to Big Rubber Guys. Wouldn't be shocked to see them in the Bendy's line as well. But really one we really need in the Big Rubber Guys line. I am very excited for that. Big jacked up dudes with face paint. Man, sign me up all day long. Give me some of that. You too, Todd? Oh, Todd, my man. My man on the couch over there. He's down for some big dudes with face paint as well. We're all in. So Big Rubber Guys, Powers of Pain, bring it on. We're ready for that. And not to be doubt done in the retro line, our friends over at Power Town, of course, Remco. We got the ultras on the Power Town, and then we got the Remco throwback figures. And it sounds like the final announcement here is Robert Gibson, Ricky Morton, Rock and Roll Express. We're rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling with the Remco line. I am here for that as well. Give me the Rock and Roll Express. This was a line I wasn't very excited about until they showed images and pictures. These look amazing. These look right like the Superstars figure. Look like you could pair them right up. Can't wait to get them here at the table, compare them between the two. But a very fun line of throwback characters from my childhood. And man, I'm here for that all day long. 
Yep, twice on Sunday, Todd, twice on Sunday. So we got those coming as well. But now we turn our attention over from some non-wrestling things going on in the action figure world. Friday, tomorrow as I'm filming this, remember this, it could be a total meltdown, it could be a disaster, but we'll see what happens. But we got Rock on. We knew he was coming last week. Friday is the announcement for Rock On. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. Will it sell out right away? Is it going to be really popular? $20 price point feels really nice in this day and age. I think it's a limit of three. That's usually what it is. We'll see what happens. Hopefully all goes well for all of us that want a Rock On figure. I need two, men on card and loose, you know me. So, but not done with He-Man Origins news. There was a little bit of a leaked listing. I'm not sure if it's real. It could be a conspiracy, Jesse. Yeah, we won't roll the tape. Uh, but we'll see what ends up happening. But rumors are too bad Origins as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That's going to get some people worked up. Hopefully everything will be easy enough to get online around San Diego Comic-Con. I'm still up in the air on San Diego Comic-Con. Leaning towards no, but we'll see what happens. Somebody out there could maybe change my mind. We'll see what happens. Uh, more to come on that in the future. But can't wait to see what other Origin figures we're going to get from Mattel Creations. Including San Diego Comic-Con if it is truly too bad. Uh, it would be too bad for some people out there. I know they don't like those exclusives. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, moving over to Marvel Legends. There was an overseas uh, toy convention, kind of uh, entertainment convention, we'll call it. And they did show off a brand new Captain America figure to be announced later where exactly that is going. But we did see that. But the Marvel Legends team, they've been dormant. We talked about it last week. Really feels like the classified series brand is getting all the love from the Marvel Legends or I should say the Hasbro offices. Well, Marvel Legends getting their time in the sun again next week, February 20. It looks like we'll have a new live stream. Have to imagine we'll see some pre-orders. Have to imagine we'll see some new figures. We'll stay tuned. We'll report on that next week as well, so stay tuned to that. And then how about the 70th anniversary of the creature from the Black Lagoon? I can't believe it. It felt like it was just like 68 years ago, but of course long before I was alive, I think, if I do the math correctly. Steiner math, as some may say. But there's a new Mondo creature going up. I'm really on the fence about this one. It's a timed edition, so you got about a week to pre-order this one. It's just kind of one of those stylistic, artistic ones. I love the creature. I want to collect all things creature, but I just don't know if this will work in my collection, especially at the price point. When it's over $100, you got to kind of look yourself in the mirror a little bit, and that's what I'm doing. And as of right now, it looks to be a pass from me, but I do love creature stuff, so I want to talk about that. We actually unboxed the NECA Creature Fright Crate exclusive on the channel this week. Check that out if you did miss that one. It's kind of an homage as they say to the of course uh, Burger King Kids Club back in the day one of the greatest kids clubs of all time I'm sure what Todd says it's not homage he said it's an homage I said no nah, it's homage it's homage tomato tomato Todd uh, he said he'll agree to that give me the thumbs up so we do got the Mondo Creature, but we're not done with Universal Monster Talk as NECA finally did pre put up for pre-order this week on the NECA store. Of course, NECA Online, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein with Frankenstein's chair. So a little bit of deluxe pack there. New head sculpt, new Frankenstein. Sign me up all day long and twice on Sunday once again, but don't sign my dad up. My dad said hard pass. I couldn't believe it. I called him up. I said, Dad, you won't believe it. And he said, hard pass, hard pass. So... I don't know what's going on with that guy. Somebody needs to do a welfare check over there. Uh, hard pass on him. Hard yes on me for the Bride of Frankenstein. Look to me to do that review here at the channel. We'll see if I get that neighbor I've been talking about. He lives across the street. Maybe he knows something. I'm hoping he could maybe bring some of that fatherly advice to the table that is sorely missing. Let's be honest. That's sorely missing right now. Uh, we'll see if he can come through with that one. So we'll see. But Brad of Frankenstein, if you're looking for it, head over to NECA right now. Get your pre-order in. June release. Perfect for Father's Day. Perfect for my birthday. Oh, there it is. Top of the wish list right there. Now we got Cliff Burton. We talked about this. This was breaking news last Friday. Well, Saturday, of course, Cliff Burton Day, I guess we'll call it with his birthday. They did announce the full packaging design and pretty wild packaging design for Cliff Burton. A pretty wild looking ultimate here for Cliff Burton as well. But I'm here for it. I like the wild colors. I like some of the crazy effect pieces on the base. I like the ring-like hands. So it'll be an interesting one. Of course, day one pre-order for me. I love my heavy metal, especially heavy metal bands I do love. Love to get stuff like this, so I'm all in on that. But we're not done. Speaking, of course, of Super 7, they did announce reaction figures figures this week of Motley Crue. How about that? Mitt Mars included. Sorry, good friend of the channel, John 5. He was not part of this one. Maybe a future release down the road. We'll see what ends up happening. The classic crew lineup in reaction form. Maybe one day that leads to Ultimates, but give me the Rob Halford Ultimate first before you get Motley Crue. At least for me, that's what I want. But we do got that one coming. And then totally out of left field this week, we had some leaks, and we never like to talk too much about leaks, but this is one that really went everywhere. Everybody did see this one. It looks like the Mad Marauders are coming in hot, of course, led by Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, we got a Sergeant Slaughter 
lot of repaint there in those blue colors. Man, it brings me back to my childhood. That was the way I got a few of those guys. Have to imagine we'll see all those guys. We did see Barbecue as the first one. Wasn't he... Was he a Target exclusive? I can't even remember. It's been about a year or so. Once again, what is time? But we saw barbecue. We got Sergeant Slaughter coming. Low Light and Spirit will be a two-pack. And no Freedom involved this time. It's like Nihal, a different bird. Oh, what happened to Freedom? Did he get killed? Did he get eaten by something? Did he die of old age? Uh, inquiring minds want to know. I have to imagine Footloose. Once we get a regular Footloose, we'll see a repaint of foot, Footloose. Easy for me to say. Everybody Footloose. We know how that goes. Uh, but we'll see him in this line. Wouldn't be shocked to see a repaint of Mutton Junkyard as well as a part of this line. Some of the OG Sergeant Slaughter Marauders team. Uh, I'm here for that, though. I love these Joe sub teams. It's a good repaint, easy reuse. I just think you got to put some time in between these things. And it's been a while. It's probably been two years since that Sergeant Slaughter, so it makes sense to get a new Slaughter out to the people. To the people! That's what I'm talking about. So Sergeant Slaughter, the Mad Marauders, leaked. Not sure where it's going to go. Is it going to go everywhere? Is it going to be Walmart only? Is it going to be Target only? Fan channel only? We'll have to find out and wait and see what happens. I would love it if it was fan channel only. I think that would make a lot of people happy. We'll see where that goes from there. But now, Todd, it's time to give you the floor here. Uh, you can perk your ears up, pay deep attention, and correct me if I'm wrong. How about that? And wiggle your toes if you agree. Oh, we got a full-on ten-toe wiggle. There it is. McFarlane this week coming in extra hot with my Kenner Superpowers needs. Really feeling like I'm closing up those gaps in that Kenner Superpowers collection. I want those in McFarlane style, and we're getting a little bit of that with Hal Jordan's Green Lantern this week. Absolutely love the looks of that one. Aquaman looking good, looking a little iffy in the hair there. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see how it looks in hand. And then finally, of course, you got to have Batman, right? Yeah, Todd's two, two thumbs up. Got to have Batman at any time you can. And it almost looks head sculpt-wise. It reminds me of a young Adam West. So I don't know what's going on there. But apparently you buy all three of these and it has like a digital uh, NFT type thing with it. I don't know anything about that stuff. But if you like the digital aspect of stuff, you got an opportunity in there for that. So take it or leave it, I guess. But man, I'm here for that Hal Jordan. I'm here for that Aquaman. And by default, I'll pick up Batman. I'll pick up Batman. I'll do that. So we got that going on this week. And then Todd said, big news. Don't forget the business news. He said, got to throw the business news in here. It sounds like uh, McFarlane signed with Universal Studios. So could we see Universal Monsters from McFarlane? I don't think so. But we got to get Universal Studios stuff. That could be Movie Maniac stuff. Who knows down the rabbit hole which way that goes. But Todd, making moves. Making deals and heels is what he always says. He loves those high heels for some reason. I don't know. Deals and heels. Whatever, whatever, do you, Todd, over there on the couch. But he's got that going on. And then we did see another exclusive this week, Asriel Sketch Edition from Entertainment Earth. If you're into the Sketch Editions, that's one of the repaint lines I've kind of bowed out on. I haven't got any of them, so I don't feel compelled to get this version of Asriel. But if you want it, hey, you know where to go. Entertainment Earth, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. And now, as Jerry Reed always says... We've got it all in a short time. Well, maybe not, but we are segueing into the album of the week. And the album of the week this week is one of those times where you just have uh, albums on repeat and then just one kind of sticks to you. And it's just a, a deep catalog, an artist that has tons of albums in their catalog, almost said CDs, I guess albums, whatever you want to call them this day, in age. Uh, but it is the band Running Wild, all representing Germany out there with some pirate metal uh, formed back in 1976, Rock and Ralph. Oh my gosh. One of those bands I would love to see in concert, but I don't know when the last time they even played America. It's been forever, a lifetime, probably since I was a little kid, I'd imagine, if ever. Uh, but one of Germany's uh, most undersung heroes, because when you think of German metal, you think of uh, the hardcore stuff, you think of Accept, you think of the creator, maybe the Scorpions. Uh, but Running Wild kind of flies under the radar there. It is a little bit niche metal. But a very good albums, very good albums, many, many good ones out there. Really recommend starting in the beginning, but there's some good stuff uh, in the later days for Running Wild. Their last album was really good, but the album, for whatever reason, spun in, and I ended up listening to the whole thing, was the Masquerade album. Masquerade, probably my favorite song on that album. But like I said, a deep metal cut and a deep cut into the Running Wild catalog. And sometimes you got to explore some music you don't know about. And there's so many great metal bands that don't get the props they deserve. Not everybody's Black Sabbath. Not everybody's everybody's Metallica, not everybody's Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, not everybody's Motorhead, but there are bands like Running Wild out there that are definitely worth a listen, at least greatest hits, I would say. Check it out. You might find something you like there. You never do know. So Running Wild, Masquerade, Album of the Week this week. But what about you guys out there? 
What was your album of the week? What were you excited about toy news wise? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell because we got videos every single day. And then some, yes, and then some. And we did hit 38,000 subscribers this week, so I do appreciate that. The slow march to 50 begins, all 50,000 right around the corner. You know, we gotta do a giveaway sometime soon here. I gotta look, if you guys follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and Instagram, one of those ways of social media, we're gonna do a giveaway sometime soon, so stay tuned to that. Be something easy, you know, you gotta subscribe to me or something and retweet or tag somebody. We'll figure something out, but I got a few things we could give away. So we haven't done one of those for everyone to be eligible in a while. It's time to do that again. And we'll do something really big for 50,000 subscribers. I'll have to think about it, but we got some time, I would imagine, there. So thank you, everybody, for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for checking out the videos. Big attorney unboxing on the channel this week as well. So if you missed that, check that one out. Oh, boy, a lot going on with that one, no doubt about it. So there it is. That is the toy news of the week. And like I said, you guys let me know your thoughts on any of the news this week in the comments down below. Of course, of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access. A couple days early access this week. Uh, so check out the Patreon for, to support the channel and to get early access and, and bonus stuff across the board. Check that out. ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. I already told you social media, so we're all done there. So you know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into another weekend.